Aaron. Hello again, YouTube. This is the truth, man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping All Subjects channel. So I want to start off by talking about allegedly T.D. Jake sent Pastor Gino Jennings an email threatening to have the FCC ban his broadcast and Gino Jennings responded by challenging them to an open debate. Now, I want to give you my thoughts on both of them. Uh, Gino Jennings, I like his preaching. I do. But he challenging T.D. Jakes. Where, where's that uh, Where's that same energy with uh, Pastor Dow? I mean, you did make some outlandish claims and statements concerning marriage. So me personally, where I, the way I look at it is I'll watch his challenge of T.D. Jakes after he debates. Now, I don't know if they have after he debates Pastor Dow. Because if you challenge uh, T.D. Jakes you still haven't answered the call to Pastor Dow, you, it seemed like you're being a bully. Again, I like Geno Jennings up forward, up front, no holes barred preaching. I like it. I do. The world needs that. The world needs that. But the thing about us preachers is you got to be open to be challenged as well. What I try to do, I try not to say things that I'm not well versed in or talk. I, I mean, I'll talk about it if somebody asks me to. But if I'm not well versed in the thing, before I talk about it, I'm going to do a couple weeks of research on it. With the polygyny and the monogamy thing, the relationship thing, that's 20 some odd years of knowledge and wisdom. Uh, with the current, the last three, four years being even more crucial. So that's why y'all hear me talking about that. Um, and everybody still don't agree with me, but that's okay. That's perfectly fine. So what I would suggest T.D. Jakes do, go to Atlanta, get it out your system, man. Don't preach no more. Re retire. You good? Get it out your system. And get back on track with the Most High. The Most High is a forgiving God. He is. He know we live in a corrupt world with perversion even in the air knows that. That's why when somebody commits perversion, we we got to preach the word to them and, and, and give them a, a chance to be delivered and to uh, get right. Not condemn them to hell. Because you, only thing you can say is if you continue on outside of your faith in the Most High, and not make peace with them. But we can't say uh, how the Most High is going to judge people who make their peace with them. Gino Jennings, I think he should keep doing what he's doing. It's good. Now, I'll tell y'all like this. I'll tell y'all like this. Y'all know what my beliefs are with the established religions of this world. Uh, I believe that all of them have some type of truth in terms of Jehovah Witness, Islam, Christianity, even Buddhism. All of them have an element of truth to them. Um, they say it in different ways. They had different ceremonies, different practices. But they all can be starting points 
in terms of God's belief in the God above. They all can be starting points to your faith and to your name being written in the book of life. None of them can, can say, this is the way. Because if they do, I will show them in details that it's not. I try not to do that because I believe in letting people uh, find their own way to the most high. Uh, and, and I used to be the total opposite trying to convert everybody to Christianity uh, till the most I start showing me uh, the attitude and the way I should be going about it. Now, the most high is really the only person, the only being that can school me up in the word that I've seen. It could be some other people out there somewhere but the most high can school me up. Like I be having to change sometimes what I say and what I believe because the most high come in and correct. Like he does to all of his prophets. You know, when we start getting down in the dumps, because if you're a prophet, you're gonna be down sometime. You're gonna be down in the dumps. Why ain't he doing this? Why ain't he doing that? You know, that's just part of, that just comes with the territory. But, when you get out there preaching, you gotta be open for scrutiny. You ain't no God. Like, he shouldn't even, I don't think T.D. Jakes is in position to even be firing back at people. He shouldn't be firing back at all. He should be getting on the table because what happens is, if he did it, which they got evidence, they got a guy that T.D. Jakes was, was doing things to, that his parents that came forward, he done came forward. There ain't no denial, man. But he's still trying to save his image, you know, which, which shows me that it's about him. It's not about the most high, it's about him. Because y'all know how I get down. Anything I'm doing, I'm not ashamed of because the most I see me. The only shame I feel is when I, if I did something crazy, let's say I did something crazy or something that I watch something, that, you know, because y'all know, I told you, sometimes I be watching horror movies. It's been some that I'd be like, nah, this is a little too much. This because I can just feel that the most high is looking at me like, man, why are you watching that? You know. But one thing I'll say is the most high don't he know he gonna judge my works, he know he gonna judge your work. So he don't sit and focus on who believe in them and who serve in them and who respect them and who love them. Does he know that you're gonna stand, you're gonna see him, you're gonna, you're gonna stand before him. I'm gonna stand before him. That's, that's what he was showing me, which is why, yeah, I done said what I say about T.D. Jakes. I have, but I fully recognize and understand that my, hey, hey, my slate ain't a hundred percent. It ain't. Like, I, I can't say that I'm perfectly holy or nothing like that. So, I'm not going to focus on what he did all the way. I'm going to focus on what he should do now. And I'm going to focus on uh, getting these churches, getting, getting the, the faith right and prepare for the most high while I get my own personal faith right. Because people, you know, perversion runs through the mind, man. But you're supposed to, you're supposed to trash it. 
You're supposed to get it out of your mind. Perversion runs through every mind, some type. Something that's not, that doesn't have a stamp of the Most High's approval runs through every person's mind at least every now and then. So, this is why he said, get the board out of your own eye to all of us. Now, I ain't taking up for TDJ. Because for one, look how these same people that secretly back him, look how they do me. They don't even want y'all to know what I'm saying and what I'm talking about. So, he had the whole, this is how I know these people is tapped in to the dark. Because he had all the influence in his hands. And he did that. Did. Not thought, he didn't think about it. He did it. And he been doing it. He been doing it. So, I think he should do, I think he should get it out of his system. Don't do nothing to yourself. Don't, don't do what that other pastor did, man. He got caught cross-dressing and stuff and, and took himself out. Man, stand. I would tell you, TDJ, to stand. Admit what you've done. I'm telling you, people will forgive you. People, and you'll regain a little respect. But if you, if you try to deny it, you try to deny it, it's like the most high gonna be looking at you like, what do you think you most high? You're not most high. And I wouldn't wanna, hey. I already said, if I ever did something that I was hiding from the people, and they find out, I'm putting it right there. I'm putting it right there. That's why you, I think when we, we as preachers, we started speaking, we should be strongly focused on our lifestyles, like how we live it, like what we doing, who we associating with. Because even before any of this came out, people was looking at, why is he with P. Diddy? Before any of this came out. You know, it's, it's, it's different if you trying to get somebody saved. Then you're supposed to let your light shine. But the videos that I saw, T.D. Jakes was dancing. He wasn't, it wasn't about preaching or anything like that. Now, can I say whether or not he been preaching to these people? I don't know. I don't be at their parties. Geno Jennings. Same thing with him. It came out one time, I don't know if it was true or not, but they tried to put some stuff on him, but people just disregarded it because there wasn't no proof to it. They say he was annihilating women, but it wasn't no proof to it. So you can hear him. They, nobody came up but and, and here's another thing this is why y'all already know polygyny for me so y'all see y'all see me with multiple women and stuff like that you already know you hey ain't no secret not monogamous been there and done that didn't work so if you if you see me come out with two women you know I done gave them an assignment of at least concubine. So it ain't, I mean, it ain't no, see you see how I put that on the table? Now, am I gonna mess with 
a woman that I ain't got no type of tie with? Of course not. Could have been did it. Why would I do that? What do I gain from that? I don't gain nothing from that. I would rather, if that's the case, if I get hard up, quote, quote unquote, man, I'm, it's, I'm gonna go turn my phone on and, and you know, them, D-I-M, do it myself. Y'all already know this. So it ain't no, it ain't, oh, hey, uh, Prophet Howard. I know what the Bible says, forwards and backwards. I know. Same thing with Dwight Howard. All Dwight Howard had to do, tell the truth. And deal with the most high. Because as far as tyrannies go, man, that ain't right. That ain't right. If you honest, if you honest, a lot of them you ain't going to know. Some of the ones now you ain't going to know unless they tell you. Because some of these women be looking masculine and some of them tyrannies don't. It's, it goes both ways. But where we come in as preachers, and a tranny man, you don't get out of here, I'm gonna bust you in your jaw. Pause. I'm talking about with the now. Am I going to attack them for being that? Of course not. I even preach to them, try to get them right with the most high. But if you try to bring, try to lull me into that, now we got a problem. We got a problem now, see. You could go do that all you want. Don't include me. Now, as far as I'm concerned, shit, I, mean, I be looking at these women all day long sometimes. A lot of time I don't pay no attention to them. Like, I get time, I be on my phone checking them out. Ebony K, people talk about Ebony K. Sometimes those women are hard to deal with, but you gotta know how. I was married to that type for years, so I know. Educated, smart, you gotta stand on them. They don't let you stand on them. If they try to gain the upper hand, you gotta leave them alone. I know how to deal with them Ebony K types. If you don't see it my way, you know how I deal with them? By not dealing with them. You don't see it my way. Now y'all dudes need to cut that out with this trying to act like none of these older women are attractive to. And trying to act like they automatically bad sex, bad this, bad that. Stop that dude. You know that you can't judge women that way. You know that they're not all garbage. Some of y'all is grifting with that. Now, you could say, like some guys, I say, okay, I respect that. Because they make it a matter, that's not what I want. That's how they say it. But other guys, oh, they, they this, they, they, they trash. 
They all done hit the wall. We don't know everybody. Now, I believe most of them. But for you to sit up and try to say that a woman is 40 automatically going to have trash sex. I just don't, I can't see that being the case. You know how I know? Because I had a 40 year old in my 20s. Wasn't trash. I had a 36 year old around that same time. 21. Running it up. That's how I know. Y'all tripping. You can't say the same about everybody. But, like I said, T.D. Jakes need to admit what he did. Stop trying to throw shots back. You try to make it seem like you think you got. The Most High showed the world that you're not. And this is what I tell y'all. Y'all think the Most High gonna come down here and be your lawyer, your judge, the presiding bishop over your wedding, the one who brings your money in. He's not. And I'm gonna tell you firsthand, when you when you one of them people that always praying to him for everything, he ain't gonna like that. And he ain't and then you're gonna get mad at him because stuff ain't gonna be happening with some stuff he put the power in you. You say you belong to him, right? He put the power in us. Now, unfortunately, sometimes you got to go through some changes. Sometimes you might be in his boot camp. That I see now why the Most High, all that stuff I knew, he didn't thrust me forward. Because a lot of time when you go move too fast, that's when stuff happened too. But see, now I, I, I recognize and understand why I wasn't pushed forward when well, all of them was out there. Osteen, Jake, all of them. All they getting, they going down one by one. And I'm still around, I'm still here. They all going, I remember those days when Christian TV was, was hot. The Word Network, TBN. When I was in Texas, man, that, that, that uh, where they do the, the live shows was like a ghost town. I used to ride past it every day going to one of my jobs. Right there, on, it's, you coming up, uh, is that 30? You coming up I-30 going towards Dallas. It's on the right side. Beautiful build. Nobody ever, hardly ever was there. It made me think, man, was that whole thing staged and fake? But I remember them days when Rob Parsley, all them dudes, hot in people's mind. They pause. I'm talking in terms of they preach. Hagee, John Hagee, Pastor Hagee. Uh, then you had the alternative ones. What was his name? Uh, he used to preach like Geno Jennings, the white dude. What's his name? Steve uh, Evangelist. He was the evangelist. I can't remember his name. But boy, he used to preach it. Had kind of a raspy voice. I can't remember his name. Then you had the uh, prophecy in the news, and you had uh, uh, the other one. Uh, then you had the, the, 
700 Club, which is still around. You had James Robinson, his show. You, had, I used to watch all of that. I used to even watch Benny Hinn. Now, Benny Hinn got exposed before they did. They even saw him coming out of a um, um, hotel with, with Paula White. Man, put it on the table, you get caught, man. And just stop preaching. Now, Clarence McClendon, his wasn't that bad. All he really had to do was just come out and say, I'm practicing polygyny. And tell his wife about what was going on. His wasn't that bad. Clarence McClendon was, was dealing with the ladies. But anyway, let me get going. We got more videos. I just wanted to talk about that. Gino Jennings, keep doing what you're doing, but keep your slate clean and stop ducking uh, Pastor Dow. And T.D. Jakes, hey man, get it out your system, man. You know, it seemed like it's still in there from the outside looking in. But thanks for watching.